Now you prepare for entry. You prepare for entry at 1532. That simply means that's where you actually be on standby that you either buy or you either sell. Right? It's either you buy or sell. Now the biggest question is you either buy or sell based on what? Now from 1532 to 1533 p.m. From 1532, remember a minute has 60 seconds. From 1532 to 1533 p.m., that's when you can actually decide uh, that you can enter, right? It's either you enter with a buy or a sell. How do you know? Now, you need to look at the, the market. At uh, you, look, you need to look at where the market is going at that moment. If the market is going up, you can enter with a buy. If the market is going uh, down, you can enter with a sell. But always keep in mind, always keep in mind about what I said, that executing manually is 75% more riskier than, uh, than, more risky I mean, than pending orders. However, the rewards are actually more greater than pending orders so it's a balance you 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 risk more and you can definitely make more than uh, those who used pending orders because just the 10 that we are adding and subtracting in nasdaq it's quite a, a huge number right now you either enter with a buy or a sell based on where the market is going at that moment right now this is the moment whereby you trust your instincts you need to trust your own instincts remember the whole purpose of the course is to teach you uh, how to actually be an independent uh, forex trader right is not to have you rely on anyone for the rest of your life yes you can have mentoring and everything but at the end of the day sometimes you just need to go with your instincts have you ever asked yourself this question who teaches coach forex and the answer is no one but look at the confidence that i have when i'm trading which is why i'm good at trading because i have confidence so you need to have confidence market execution requires you to trust your own instincts you cannot see that it's going for a buy and then after change your mind and go for a sell you cannot see that it's going for a sell and then after change your mind and go for a buy. You need to trust your instincts. But the whole point from 1532, you observe between 1532, 1533, you need to execute either with a buy or sell based on your instincts. If it's going up, you enter with a buy. If it's going down, you enter with a sell. Right? Now, which is why I say it's best to start with a demo account on this one however i know there are going to be those traders who are going to ignore the instructions and go for a real account but if you do so at least use 0 0.01 because anything could happen when it comes to nasdaq right now that's just about it in terms of how we enter nasdaq now after entering it does not mean that you'll make profit immediately right because they spread it does not mean that uh, either whether you use uh, pending order or market execution, the market won't go against you. It will and it can, right? Now, you just need to believe in the decision that you made. You need to have confidence. You are an investor now. You need to have confidence. You cannot always pull out when things don't go your way, right? You cannot be recognized as the best if you are a coward. You need to be strong. You need to be stronger than what you are now. When you're going to be trading Nasdaq, it's nothing closer to currencies. It's crazy, like I say, or like I said. Don't panic, just relax, right? Just relax. Be yourself more. Now, in terms of the time to exit, now that you know the time to enter either market execution or pending order, therefore the time for exiting is when you make profit but personally 6 p.m uh in most cases i'm out if i'm not out by 6 p.m then i'm just greedy i'm gonna get out at 9 p.m it's just greediness understand the term greediness it's just me being greedy right now don't be greedy guys 
as soon as you make profit, which you believe this is profit, exit and wait for the next Tuesday. This thing is not going anywhere. You don't have to make one billion in one day. You are not just George Soros. You don't have to make 100,000 in one day. You are not coach. You don't have to make one million in one day. You are not coach. You understand? Be yourself. Trade based on what you can afford. Therefore, you will see blessings will come your way. So that's just about how we actually uh, trade Nasdaq. Unfortunately, uh, my my order symbol is not working but on the mt4 but allow me to use a chf jpy as an example to just quickly uh show you guys uh, the pending orders in case you're new now take this as nasdaq so if you're using market execution like I said, the entry level will be 0 0.01 for NASDAQ. You can either select buy or sell based on where the market is going, either from 15.32 or 15.33 p.m., right? That is just simple. Buy or sell based on the direction on M1 time frame. Now, if you're on pending orders and you decide to start with a buy stop because the market will be going up, so what you do because uh, the... Nasdaq will be on 955.02. This is just an example, by the way. And 955.02. Therefore, you're going to focus only on these numbers. When I was saying the numbers before, I simply meant this. Now, because this is a buy stop, it means that you need to add 10 from this number. Therefore, it's going to be 65. Then you are done. Just like that, you place your order. You select place. Then you are done. Therefore, if it was a sell stop and the price was still on 55, therefore, you say then this numbers, this numbers uh, just before the full stop, you minus 10. gonna give you 45 therefore you place your order right now sometimes sometimes brokers won't allow you to use 10 of or yeah they won't allow you to add 10 or or minus 10 therefore if that's the case contact that broker and find out what is their minimum some brokers minimum it's 25 therefore unfortunately you have to use their 25 if, if you still love that broker. So I don't want people to be uh, saying that I am unable to add 10. The broker doesn't allow me. Move to another one and find the one which allows you. That's a problem. That, that's a solution, I mean. So crying doesn't uh, really solve anything. So that's just the simplicity of actually trading uh, NASDAQ. Now, in a situation whereby the price is like this, you're going to come across a situation whereby the price is like this. The price is 959.02, for example. Therefore, your last two digits, your last two digits, uh, it's 95. It's a sell stop, right? For sell stop, you minus 10 from 95, it's going to give you 90, uh, 85, which is simple. But for a buy stop, what do you do? When it's for a buy stop, what do you do? Therefore, if it's for a buy stop, you say 95 plus 10, it's how much? It's going to give you how much? It's going to give you uh, 105. That, that's the total. Now, this simply means that it's more like uh, you are taking 595 and you are adding 10. It's going to give you uh, 605. Now, this simply means that your, almost your entire amount will change to 6, uh, no, 6, 0, 5. You understand? So that simply means that your number will change to 605 because it was more like uh, 959, it's, it was more like 595. When you add 10, it's going to give you a 605. So don't get confused. Same goes to when the number is 
505, like this example, 505. Therefore, the last uh, two numbers before the full stop is 05. When you minus 10, it's going to give you a negative. Take it like this. It's 505 minus 10 is going to give you 495. Simple, just like that. You're going to write uh, 400 and 495. Then you're done. It's simple. Don't, just don't uh, get confused when it comes to, to such numbers. So that's just about uh, how how the, the short practical of how we, we get to set our pending order right now the next movement uh, i will be showing you guys exactly how i trade nasdaq and i'll be showing you guys exactly how i get to apply everything that you've seen in the strategy video right now remember remember that uh, trading is risky on its own right and before you indulge in any trading activities, you must be aware of the risks the risks involved as your brokers will always warn you on their website, right? So this is the same warning that trading is not suitable for everyone and don't trade with your last savings. Always trade with the amount of money that you're willing to lose. There's no specific amount. It's only the minimum amount which are allowed by the brokers, which is which can either be $10 or $20 depending on the nature of the broker so the next video i'll be showing you guys how to actually uh, trade nasdaq uh, be, uh, based on exactly what i do now on this video that you're looking at the short video that you're looking at right now basically this is how i trade nasdaq now this is half past three on a tuesday and uh, look at the movement you see it's crazy it's going up it's going up it's going up it's going up and then just when i thought it's going up it's rejecting now it's going down you see i'm not in a trade as yet m one time frame i'll be using a pending order specifically now it's going down it's going down it's going down uh, just a bit i'm not so sure as yet because i'm waiting for confirmation now it's hitting up it's hitting down i'm not so sure now we are approaching second minute it's still half past 3 p.m uh, the market is moving it looks like it's going up i could sell but i'm not so sure as yet because i need to stick to the strategy now let's look at the candle uh, second candlestick what does it have in store for us now second candlestick it started it's going down now i have an idea that this might be a sell because that's what nasdaq does it causes a rejection first before confirming so i want to confirm my things uh, thoroughly but i already have an idea that this might actually be a sell initially uh, because the second minute candlestick is trying to confirm it meaning that if you are brave you can even enter before the designated time but understand the risks involved so i'm not so sure as yet about my things but i've decided to enter either way as i'm approaching 15 uh, 32 to be exact right i'm approaching 1532 now 1532 it's almost there now i need to set in my buy stop order either way and then i'm gonna add 10 just like i've minus 10. now it's uh, 1532 now almost 1532 now i'm gonna be entering into a trade now now any direction that or gets opened i'm so sure any direction which which gets opened i'm so sure of my things right now so it looks like it's gonna open the sell stop order as the second minute confirmation uh, confirmed that it could be as a sell, uh, a sell position now i'm already into a trade now i'm already into a trade uh, the buy stop order is still on i need to delete it that is the first thing that you need to do if you've already managed to set uh, the the pending order now you can see how crazy the movement is uh, I'm, I'm still skeptical whether i'm gonna make money or not but i'm just relaxing i'm just keeping it cool it's trying to take me to profit uh, just 
small rejection you can see the minus that i'm on already this is a za account meaning that i'm using south african rent to actually trade now it looks like now it's gonna go up and i've already sold already therefore i'm on almost negative i'm almost on negative eight thousand ten thousand but the good part about it is that i have an equity of about forty thousand so i have nothing to worry about now i'm still sitting on about five thousand six thousand loss uh, it's a real account as you can see now it's going against me people i'm worried now now i'm losing money uh, but remember it's all only a loss if you close on a loss and it's only profit when it's in your bank account i'm sitting on a loss of about seven thousand now uh, going up and down going up and down going up and down going up and down nine thousand loss now going up and down you know remember now I'm still relaxing. It's still 1533 now. It's still 1533. Uh, I'm wondering what's going to happen to me. Am I going to make money? Because the market seems to be going against me. Now at 1536. 1536, uh, the market has finally came back to my favor. Now I'm sitting on a profit of about... 4,000 rent, 3,000, 4,000, just an estimation. It's going up and down, you know. Uh, it's going up and down. Uh, I Now I have hope. Now I have hope. I'm sitting on more, almost 5,000 profit, 4,000. Uh, 3,000 profit, still going up and down. Uh, I'm still on 1536 in terms of time. Now I know for sure that I'm going to exit after hours or an hour, for example now still going down in my favor now i'm sitting on about a profit of about eight thousand rents uh it's 10 to 4 now it's 10 to 4 i'm almost sitting on about eight thousand rent and uh, my initial target is precisely to make anything from twenty thousand, anything from twenty thousand, actually, I'm happy. Now I'm sitting on about ten thousand profit. I want twenty thousand because initially that is the plan or the target that I actually had in mind. Now things are going my way. I'm sitting on about fourteen thousand profit. Uh, my target is still about twenty thousand initially. Uh, 14,000, 13,000, that's what's floating right now. You see the market is still going in my favor. The market is still in going, going in my favor. Now, as you've seen that I was once on a loss before, uh, it's just part of, 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 of the trading game. It does not mean that you will always make profit. Now, now I'm sitting on about 30,000, 28,000, close to 30,000 profit which is initially 10,000 extra on top of what I've encountered for. Now, that simply means that I've, I've actually outdone myself. I have made almost 30,000. The time is 18 past 5. Now, this simply means that I have almost 1 hour 30 minutes or close to 2 hours into the trade uh, with this regard. So, basically, this is just uh the nasdaq movement in general and how how nasdaq actually moves in in general therefore you should always be aware that anything could go wrong you know now i'm sitting on about at least thirty thousand, uh which i believe initially now uh, i have to actually exit on uh, from the trade because 30,000 is, is, is quite a, a lot of money, you know, a lot of money that you can actually make from your cell phone of which initially the actual deposit, the actual deposit that I've actually uh, started with precisely, um, it's almost, I would say 20,000. I've actually started with 20,000 uh, trading uh, this uh, account. So I've actually started with about 20,000. So if I can actually get to almost uh, 60,000 with just two trades, that is more than enough. That is someone else's salary. Nobody can actually give you that amount of money. Now, that is just 
reality. That is just reality check, you know. So nonetheless, that's just about it when it comes to uh, trading Nasdaq. I hope that you have seen the practical side of it. Uh, an actual live trade, it's going to make things much more easier. Just don't panic, guys. Just don't panic. Now, this is a once of course, as I've already stated. Therefore, this simply means that there won't be mentoring. There won't be uh, signals, which you should expect. Uh, we will only help you guys on the FBK NASDAQ website when it comes to technical queries because this is a once-off deal hence you paid 135 rents uh, to get access to it however if you are in what we call FBK private clients therefore you can have access to to mentoring you can have access to slightly what we call signals meaning that sometimes news come out at 10 p.m so as a private client uh, member fbk private clients actually fbk private clients yes that's the correct website as a private client member uh, if news come out on monday or wednesday or thursday or friday you will get notified that news came out with this situation therefore there's a chance that nasdaq could go up or down so those are going to be the ben some of the benefits specifically for fbk private clients based on nasdaq that's the only place whereby you could get mentoring or signals now remember we are trying to make you guys independent traders now independent traders simply means that after you get taught something you make uh, extra for efforts you take extra miles into learning what is this thing all about so nonetheless thank you guys for watching this video uh, i appreciate everything and all the best uh, with nasdaq as you've already seen that i am i've actually turned almost uh 3000 3000 u gbp 3000 gbp i've already i've all of 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 almost 10 3000 gbp into almost 70000 gbp trading five times uh it's there on my social media platforms uh, my social media platforms uh you can also watch the video whereby i've turned 3000 uh, GBP into six almost 70,000 that simply means from a deposit of 65,000 and I made 1.4 million from a deposit of 64 65,000 rents I made 1.4 million trading only five times now this is equivalent to you depositing uh, 650 and making almost uh, either 11,400 or 14,000 I don't know the perfect example but you get my point. It's never really about making a lot of money. It's all about consistency and making more than what you are risking on the market. So nonetheless, from your boy coach, I thank you guys for watching this. And remember, in FBK, we don't do investments. We don't do investments. In FBK, we don't do account management. We don't. We don't do account management. We don't do investments. So if you come across, uh, I don't know the right spelling, management. I'm not sure about the spelling for management, but yeah, whatever the case it may be. We don't do in, uh, investments, we don't do account, account management. If you come across any chances who are going to be promising you investments or account management, both based on NASDAQ, just know it's a scam. We don't do that in FBK, right? And one more thing, uh, the only place where we can offer you guys mentoring or signals based on NASDAQ, it can only be on fbkprivatelines.com only. It can be on this website, it can be on FBK Online Services or on any WhatsApp group. Just know that it's only on FBK Private Clients. Now, nonetheless, thank you guys for your time. And in case you are a beginner and this confused you, uh, we still have FBK Online Services, whereby uh, it actually 
covers a uh, lifetime mentorship or signals and three strategies so mentorship and signals based on the strategies that will be offered at that site will be available on fbk online services uh, uh, directly so that's just about it thank you guys for watching this video and all the best with your trading activities thank you guys